Did you see anybody coming out of that building carrying something over his shoulder? Like a large bundle? I didn't see anything like that. I'll take over, Casey. She says she didn't notice anyone Never carrying mind. a... I'm going to ask you a very important question, Mrs. Tribon. Are you sure it was Kenneth Payne you saw leaving this house at 110? Of course I'm sure. I never heard so many foolish questions. I'm going to try a little experiment, Mrs. Tribon. Taylor, I want you to put on this raincoat and hat. What for? Put adhesive tape under his eye, somebody, to match Payne's description. Oh, no, wait a second. What's all this for? Now, don't act dumb, Taylor. It won't get you anywhere. Last night, you put on Payne's coat and hat and carried his bag out of here at 110. After you'd killed him and stuck his body away somewhere. You want to come clean now, Jiggs? Well, I told you the truth. Then put the coat on. Don't do it, Dad. They have no right to ask you to do that. No, I won't. I ain't going in for any of these bunky shines. All right. Dixon, you're about his build. Put the hat and coat on. Well, that's comic strip stuff, Lieutenant. The lady said she saw Payne leave here last night. Sure I did. I saw Mr. Payne out of the window. No, you saw a raincoat, a hat, and a bag. Go ahead, Dixon. 